Okay, so, um, this is, I guess, day two of daily vlogging, um, which is still very new to me. I mean, it's only day two, but, um, something that I wanted to go more into depth about was, um, yesterday I mentioned Dulce Candy 87 and I kind of said that she was, you know, a point of inspiration for me, and... As far as like other YouTubers, I kind of wanted to mention um, <clears throat> some of them just in case anybody was interested and why I like to watch them and kind of like what kind of inspiration they provide for me. Maybe they can do the same for someone else. Um, but I doubt that. I mean, they're all kind of popular, so you probably know all of them, but um, in case you don't... Um, as far as like, um, and most, I noticed that most of them are women. Actually, I have like one guy on the list. But, um, as far as like women that like are achieving their goals and, um, making their dreams come true, I mean, like I said, Dulce Candy 87, I really like her. Um, we kind of have some things in common, um, some personality traits. Well, we're both Leos. Well, actually we have the same birthday, which is kind of cool. And, um, Michelle Phan. Um, I've been watching her for a long time. For a long time. And it's, it's so amazing, really, to see them, like, go on this journey that they do. And, um, it makes me kind of feel like they, where they came from is just you know, they started off just like everybody else, just making videos and for a purpose. And uh, they just kind of wanted to turn their situation into something better, something bigger. They, you know, like you make do with what you have. And um, that's something that I should learn or that I have learned. And I want to put it to use, I should say. And, um, um, in terms of like positive YouTubers that they have like a very cheerful attitude all the time and they're just like pleasant for me to watch. I really like um Mac Barbie 07. She's she's younger than me. I don't really know how old she is, but she's a teenager. And she's like always smiling and always so positive and she's so cute and she has like such great style and she seems to be really genuine and um that like to watch one of her videos will probably make you just as happy as she is and um the next one that's also very positive is josh sundquist um he's actually well he's a motivational speaker so you kind of you kind of get that feeling when you're watching one of his videos he's very cheerful and happy and he's kind of silly and it's easy to like it's easy for him to lighten your mood and so um and also the next three are like girls that are um they're they're not afraid of being themselves and I actually think that they're kind of funny and I wish I could be that brave and outspoken and you know I just want to be myself and open with anybody and you know, a lot of people like them, so that should say something. That I guess that's something to, um, I guess they should be an example for me. Um, <clears throat> so the first one is Jenna Marbles, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows who she is. She is so funny. She is so out there. She, um, I've been watching her a long time too, actually. I would say like the past two years or more, like two two and a half years I don't know and um, she's just so funny and I like her and her boyfriend Max like their relationship they're so cool with each other like it really <laughs> she's so like quirky and it gives me kind of hope that maybe someday somebody there will be somebody that will be able to live with all my quirks and so she kind of they're kind of encouraging and um, Jay Honey too. 
she is so funny too I found her through tumblr and she's so outgoing she like dances she sings she does comedy um she does makeup and she's so pretty too um and I don't know that's she actually kind of reminds me of my sister because my sister's the same way minus the makeup but yeah and it, I see how everybody likes the two of them and um, I wish I could just, I wish I had the guts to be as outgoing as they are. And the last one is, I like Whaley. Um, her and her boyfriend, Wa, like, they have such a good relationship, too. And, um, Whaley, she, she's, like, funny, but without trying. Um, I don't know, and also, she's, like, I think a year younger than me, and she's already... Uh, graduated high school she's already moved on to fit em, and she's like following her dreams and she moved with her boyfriend to LA and you know they're just making it out there and like all these people they they're putting their life in action they're going places and I guess that's kind of why they inspire me because that's exactly what I want and right now what I'm doing is exactly the opposite of that I'm just staying stuck and I need to get moving and um actually what what Dulce said was that when you feel better you do better or something along those lines and so I guess what I'm working on first is feeling better I need to kind of work up some self-esteem um, maybe also like physically feel better and um, if it wasn't kind of rainy outside right now, um, I'd probably go for a walk. Um, I'm not in very good shape at all. I haven't done PE in like four years. But um, I think I'm going to start. And I need some motivation. And so maybe for tomorrow's video, um, I can do it while I'm out on a walk or something. And maybe that way I can keep on track and um oh actually I forgot to mention um I forgot to mention one other youtuber who is like actually two of them but um two girls that kind of have good relationships and yet they're confident in them in themselves and they seem to be kind of independent well, at the same time, they're very much into their relationships and everything that they're doing. And that's another thing to, um, you know, one day that I, hopefully, you know, I can look forward to that. And um, one of them is Katie Lett, who is the wife of Shay Carl. And she's very non-judgmental and she's very nice and she gives a lot of good advice. And she's kind of like, she could be a mother figure to maybe someone that doesn't have a mom or you know maybe you can still find the value in her videos even if you do have a mom but um and the next one is that's heart and her and her boyfriend Arnold are so like entertaining and they're so funny and they're so nice and um I think that their relationship is kind of like the way that that'd be like the ideal relationship I think for me and this is kind of weird to talk about this because I never talk about like a, a love life or like because to me that feels very kind of private but um I'm trying to be open <laughs> and um I don't know so maybe like hopefully somebody can watch them and be inspired by them too just as much as I am and um, funny enough, something else that kind of inspires me <laughs> is when I go to Ikea and I see, um, all the displays and, oh my gosh, maybe it's just because I still live with my parents and I don't want to, I, I want to be on my own, I want to be independent, I want to be self-sufficient and so when I go to Ikea and I see all those displays, it makes me really want to live on my own. <laughs> But, um, I don't know, it's cool. I think little by little I'm getting there. And, um, what I'm going to work on now is feeling good. So, maybe, 
You should too. Do what makes you happy.